In this lecture, we will learn about evaluation of the postfix expression and we will also learn the algorithm for the evaluation of postfix expression. So suppose we have the expression 3, 4, 5 multiplication plus 7 minus and I have to find out the answer of this expression. We have to solve this expression to find out its answer. So uh, we will scan the uh, expression taking one symbol at a time. Suppose this is the expression and we are taking 3, then 4, then 5, then multiplication sign, then plus, then 7 and then minus. Let's suppose the last symbol of this expression is dollar. So dollar is an indication that the expression has ended. We have no more symbol on the expression. So the rule says if I have an operand then I should push this operand on the stack. So we need a stack. So let's take an empty stack and let's say the name of the empty stack is operand stack. OPND stack is signifying that we have the operand stack. We will be pushing the operands on this. So we are initializing this stack such that it contains no symbols initially. Then I, if I have 3 which is an operand, so I will push this symbol on the stack. Then I have 4, so I will push this symbol on the stack. So top of the sim top of the stack now is 4. I have one more symbol 5. I will push it on the stack because this is an operand. Then I have the multiplication which is an operator. In the case of operator, I will pop the stack. So first popped value is taken in B. So 5 is the first popped value. Next popped value is taken in A. So next popped value is 4. And then I will apply then I will apply this multiplication on this 4 and 5. So 4 multiplied with 5. So A multiplied with B. The answer is 20. The value is 20. I will push this value on the stack. 3 was already there on the stack. And now I am pushing 20 here. So 3 was already there. I am pushing 20. The status of the stack is this. And then I have plus which is an operator. So I should pop the stack twice. First popped value is taken in symbol B. So 20 is B and the ne next pop value is taken in symbol A then applying 3 plus 20 which is 23 and push it on the stack. After removing 20 and 3 there is no there are no more symbols on the stack. The stack is empty so 23 which is the uh, which is found after doing 3 plus 20 is stored on the stack that is the only symbol on the stack as of now. Now 7 is an operand so we should push 7 on the stack. So the status of the stack is like this. Then I have minus. I should pop the stack twice. First pop value is taken in symbol B. So 7 is B. Next pop value is taken in A. So 23 is A. Then applying 23 minus 7. A minus B. Answer is 16. Let us push this 16 on the stack. After removing 23 and 7, there are more sim no more symbol on the stack. So push this value 16 on the stack. Now, dollar means there is no more. There are no more symbols from the postfix expression. So uh, all the inputs have been taken care of, and we have found the answer. And uh, we will pop this stack, and this popped value is the answer of this expression. So once dollar appears, we will pop the stack and will return the answer fine so let us try to write the algorithm for the same let's say i am writing the algorithm in fix to post fix in this the input given to us is post fix expression i am writing an algorithm for in fix to post fix now for this i need to take a stack Let's say the name of the stack is operand stack. Let us initialize this stack such that initially it contains no symbol. So let's initialize operand stack. And then in, uh, scan the inputs of this uh, postfix expression taking one symbol at a time. So we have to take multiple symbols. So taking a symbol mean accepting the symbols will be in a loop. So while not end of 
input from postfix expression do so what we have to do we have to take every input in symbol so symbol equals to next inputs character from postfix expression after taking this symbol i will have to identify if this given symbol is operand or operator so let's say we are first checking if this is an operand so if symbol is an operand i need to push this symbol on the stack so in the operand stack i am pushing the symbol else means my symbol is not an operand so i am assuming that every input given in the postfix expression is either an operand or an operator so if this is not an operand so obviously this is an operator so since this is an operator so let us pop two values let's say first popped value is taken in b symbol next pop value is taken in a symbol and then i need to find out a value so value is equals to result of applying symbol to a and b and after that i will push this value on the stack we are doing the same what we did in this table two values are popped first pop value is taken in b second pop value is taken in a and then we are applying the operator so operator is applied on a and b and value is found and that value is pushed on the stack so if it is an operand we will push if this is an operator we will pop now we will take all the inputs from the postfix expression and once the inputs will finish we will pop the stack after this loop we are popping the stack let's say pop symbol is taken in x and we will return this x and this x is the answer so this is the postfix evolution algorithm just check once again this is this is infix to postfix conversion wherein the postfix expression is given as an input we take an operand stack we will initialize this stack such that initially it contains no symbol by the time we have the symbols from the postfix expression we will take every symbol in symbol variable and if the symbol variable is an operand we will push this on the stack otherwise means this is an operator we will pop two values first popped value is taken in b second popped value is taken in a and then we will push this sorry we will apply this symbol uh, which is an operator on b, a and b we will find a value and that value is pushed on the stack once the inputs finish once the input uh, finishes we will pop the stack and let's say the popped value is taken in x we will return this x this x will be the answer to the expression thank you